Hey guys, okay, I haven't done a video in a little bit, so I wanted to jump on here really quickly and actually talk to you about postpartum hair loss. So I know I look like a, I have a ton of hair, which I wear natural beauty hair extensions. I'm actually Danielle K.Y. I created the system over 10 years ago. I have a hand side hairline called Isla. Um, it's actually named after one of my baby girls. I have four beautiful baby girls and I just had my fourth daughter and she's four months old. So I wanted to just kind of touch base about my journey with postpartum hair loss, uh, placement with hair extensions with postpartum hair loss. Is it safe? Is it not? What should I look for? And all that good thing, all those good things. So, um, first off, I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you, cause even though I look like I have a ton of hair, I'm going to show you. So my baby is four months old. Now you can see this is the recession area. You can also see in here, I've lost a little bit throughout there. Um, surprisingly this is not bad my um third baby i would say i lost probably 50 percent of my hair and i always joke around because she came out with platinum blonde like three inches of platinum blonde hair like her hair i was like hey, whose baby is this <laughs> and i always say she took all of my hair from me what little i have but i had such severe postpartum hair loss with her and i was so scared going into my fourth pregnancy worried that I would have more postpartum hair loss or the same amount. And honestly, it was to the point where I was nervous. Can I wear extensions? Can I not? I did wear hair extensions my entire journey. We figured out how to place them, how much hair to place on each row where it was safe, how often to maintain them and things like that. So this time going around um, with my fourth baby girl, I was like, okay, how can I do everything in my, how can I do everything possible to make this situation better? So. Um, uh, I'm just going to share a little bit of my experience. So for me with my fourth baby girl, I did not breastfeed. I breastfed for paid probably, and you're like, what does this have to do with your hair? But it does hormones. Hang on with me. Um, I breastfed for her, her for about three weeks. And then I actually got kind of sick and couldn't eat a lot for like three or four days and completely lost my milk. I don't love breastfeeding, but I always kind of go into it with the attitude of like, Let's see how it goes. You know, let's see, every baby is different. Let's give it a shot. So anyways, I, because I didn't breastfeed her for very long, I found that my hormones regulated much faster this time. Um, I, and I also like dropped the weight this time really fast and everything, but I was kind of nervous that my hair, because I had dropped the weight so fast and my hormones changing so fast that I was going to have um, more postpartum hair loss but it, so far it seems to be a little bit better than my last one. So immediately after I had this baby, I thought, you know, I'm gonna start taking, there's a vitamin called Nutrafol. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. It's like the raving thing for hair. They have a, one specifically for postpartum. So I am taking, I'll see if I can find the link to Nutrafol and I'll put it below this video. So I am taking that. I took that with my um, third baby and I noticed it started to work. What I will tell you if you're taking the supplements, don't just ever stop cold turkey because what happened is last time, again, on baby number three, I stopped taking the Nutrafol. I was like, oh, my hair grew back, I'm fine. I stopped taking it immediately. I had like another shed of postpartum hair loss after my baby was like over a year old. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? So if you're going to go off any kind of supplements, my advice and my experience is you kind of have to wean yourself off of them. Don't just be like, oh, I'm all better and stop taking them. So anyways, back to where I'm at now. So right after I had my fourth baby, I immediately started taking Nutrafol. It actually recommends on the bottle not to take while pregnant. So I didn't, and I waited till she was born, but your hair's great when you're pregnant. I started taking it. Another thing that I decided to try was PRP for the hair. Um, I'd heard a lot of good things specifically for doing PRP on the scalp. Typically you do a series of three of them, and I've done two, two of them so far, and I have one more to go. Um, and like I said, I definitely feel like between taking the vitamins and doing the, the PRP, and I'm also taking men's or not taking, but applying men's Rogaine to my hairline where I typically use it every single night. Um, so I just figured, and I supplement like crazy. Uh, my favorite supplements, people always ask me, are doTERRA Vitality Pack. I'll see if I can find a link to that and you can research more of that as well. It kind of like evens out my mood and makes me feel good, makes my skin look pretty, that kind of thing. Um, so I just think every little thing helps, right? Um, I also like not over processing my hair with lightener or bleach or over styling it with heat and things like that every this time around because it was so bad with my third baby I thought and it got really healthy this last pregnancy I thought I'm gonna do everything I can 
to maintain the integrity of my hair. So that's kind of my experience and I just wanted to jump on and do a quick video with you guys and kind of share what worked and then I'm gonna show you my placement with my hair extensions. So I'm currently wearing 22 inches of Natural Beauty Rose and again, this is Isla Hand Tight Hair. I'm so obsessed with this hair, you guys. Like I wanna create more videos specifically about Isla Hand Tight Hair. We also have a, um, we have another line of hair coming out soon. So anyways, if you're an MBR artist or interested in MBR education, that's the only way you can get access to this amazing hair. Or if you're a client, look for somebody who does natural beauty rose and ask them, what hair are you currently using? So anyways, um, this is when I, my goal with postpartum is I'm like, yeah, there's nothing I can do about this recession, but I want to be able to still wear my hair extensions and not have them show. So you can see when I pull them up, you can't see the rows. And this is one of the things we teach inside of my education is the, my top row, you guys, look how high up that comes. It comes clear up to here, right next to my part line. A lot of things that you'll see with extensions is they want to square them off and go forward. The problem is, is your hairline comes forward. So if you square them off, you can, you, your stopping point is here. So I'm going to miss all this hair around my face. And we know if we have postpartum hair loss, or if you're just one of those women who your hair doesn't grow very well on the sides, we know that it's so important to have the extensions up high. This is the only reason that I can wear 22 inch extensions. If I did, had to stop my extensions clear back here, I definitely would have to take them up in length to kind of match the, the back of my hair. Uh, people are always like, how long is your hair? I'm like, well, this piece, this one piece is really long, but I think the better integrity your real hair is and the longer it is, even if you have fine hair, your extensions are gonna blend a lot better. So don't be afraid to, again, if you, um, want more hair around your face or you're you have any kind of postpartum hair loss instead of trying to move them forward you can't attach extensions where there's no hair so we kind of go right above the recession so even if I want to pull all this up which I kind of don't pull it up like this right now just because I'm kind of thinning right here and I don't love it um but even if I do pull it up you can see you cannot see it so usually when I pull my hair up I'm definitely kind of leaving the bangs out and down and kind of working around this this little window here so that's my placement with the extensions. I have some other reels and stuff on my Instagram if you follow me at Danielle K. White, specifically showing my placement and things like that because I do educate thousands of stylists at this point and I think the key to having well-blended extensions, yes, is the color, but also has a big deal with placement. The placement is your foundation. If your foundation is off, everything about the the whole transformation and the end result it doesn't blend it doesn't lay right you're gonna see it it's when the wind blows it's good so placement 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 is a, is a huge thing and this isn't just a placement for postpartum hair loss this is actually how we teach it with natural beauty rose so anyways you guys i just wanted to share my experience um again if you want more hair tips and tricks make sure to subscribe to this channel i haven't been as consistent doing youtube although i started my brand on youtube so i'm trying to get back to it because on Instagram, I feel like you can only get so much value in 30 seconds. So tune in every week. I'm gonna try to share more value with you guys. And I'm actually gonna be taking my YouTube channel to my salon. So if you are a hairstylist and you wanna see color tips, tricks, you know, how to root extensions, fun, how to perm extensions, cool things like that, um, stay tuned because we have a ton more content coming for you guys. All right, see you guys later.